folks and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join us today on Boxing Day here in Flintshire where Mrs H, the girls and myself have come for a, the traditional Boxing Day walk and to try and get rid of some of the old uh, Christmas dinner from yesterday. Hopefully Santa brought you everything that you wanted and you had a good day yesterday but it's getting back to normal now isn't it? So we're out and about and where have we come to today? Well we've come to Bagilt. Uh, Beacon, which is in Flintshire, and this is it behind me here. Now, because we're in Flintshire and we're in North Wales, it is a dragon, and it was built in 2012 to mark the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. See, a symbol of uh, English imperialism still here in Wales. Now, they lit this on a jubilee, which was the 4th of uh, June, I believe, and it must have looked really impressive here because it overlooks the de-estuary. So you would have been able to see that blazing away for miles around. Now there's quite a few of these apparently along the uh, North Wales coastal path. And the idea of them is that it marks it very similar to our ours do over in Lancashire and Yorkshire though. But this is a modern day one. There's also supposed to be a time capsule buried. Now whether it's buried in this compound somewhere or not, I don't know. But the local kids at the time, they put all things in like a school uniform and news about themselves and things like that. I think we had the Doomsday Project when I was a kid back in 1981, but these guys have had this. So they're all going to come back in 50 years time and uh, dig it up and say, oh, I remember putting that in there. And apparently the local kids can't wait to come back in 50 years time. When they reach 40, or believe me, they'll wish they were still young again. But yeah, whether or not it's underneath that, I don't know. It'd be a shame if it was a laugh jackhammer if it get into it, won't they? Well... Oh, it's, uh, it looks quite nice, that. Some pictures here of it lit. Yeah. Yeah, that's it lit. Those two burly gentlemen who uh, put it up. And I think that was it being made in workshops. It was made locally, I believe. It's fantastic, the work in it, isn't it? It really the art it is. A bit of a better angle here without the, uh, the shadows of the forming. Because it's quite sunny here in Wales. Although back in back in England it's raining, isn't it at all? It is, it's still freezing here though. Right then we're gonna carry on with our little walk and uh, and warm up a little bit. We'll just to give you some closing shots of uh, around this because like I said it's an amazing sculpture. It'd be even better if it was lit, but I can't do that for you hot potters, I'm afraid. So anyway, we're gonna go and have a little walk down the coastal path now. So until the next time, from myself, from Mrs H, and of course from the girls who were happy to be out after being cooped up yesterday, it is 